This is a quick video to demonstrate how to export segmentations from Slicer uh, as 3D models uh, that can then be imported into Blender or any other 3D application that you might want to use for doing a, a high resolution rendering or animation or surfacing or fancy lighting or flyovers animations, things like that. So here we are in Slicer with our ice crawler uh, model that we've, I showed in previous videos. Um, these are cool little insects. They live in the ice pack up in the, in the Rockies and places like that. Um, so what we do is we go to the segmentations module and we want to pick just the ones visible that we want. We make visible the ones that we want to do. For example here, I want to do the specimen and the trachea. So there are only two segments here that I want to use. And then I go to export models and or label maps. I pick models. I want to put them in a new folder and then I want to do only the visible ones. Otherwise it'll do everything, which is not what I want in this instance. There's a lot of different things here and I only want these two. And then you click export. It thinks for a second and boom, it's done. Then you can go to the models. Right now, actually it's showing 3D views of the segments in segment editor and the models. So what we can do is we can turn off the segments here, turn off that one, turn off that one. Right now it's only showing the models. So if you go into models here, there's two that are showing. So we've got specimen and the trachea. So these are now, these are our 3D models, not surface representations in the segment editor um, or segments. These are models that can then be exported. So we say file, save data. And if we scroll down here, these are the models that have been created. Now I save them as POI files. Um, you can also save them as a number of other different formats like OBJ, uh, STL if you want to do a 3D print, even VTK if you want to do other things with them. Uh, POI, POI files are nice because um, they're kind of, they're uh, an open format, they're sort of universal, they're very simple to read and write, um, and most importantly, uh, Blender imports them quickly, so that's fine. I don't use OBJ files because I don't really care about surface information from these, I do eye surfacing in Blender. So I say save. It takes a second. Now I go over to Blender here. Now in Blender, I go over to where my stuff is stored. I say import POI files. There is my specimen, my tricky combined cleaned. Those are the two. These are older models that I created before. These are the ones I did for this demonstration. I say import POI. Thanks for a second. And there they are.